Hey guys, Sunstreak was it here, and yes, we're here again with another war technique video. So, the name of this video is Clear Up Crew or Clean Up Crew, and the reason they sort of named that is simply because it's very variable in the sense of the attack. There's not there's a couple of key bots that you need. Outside of that, it all depends on a lot of different bots. There's no set method. Prime cores help incredibly, but the good thing about this attack is, is there's a few bots that you can see in this attack that you don't have. You can replace them with someone else. It's very variable. There's no set. So, I've done a couple of attacks here. I've been practicing this for a while in a few wars with sort of uh, mixed results, but I think I've sort of got it nailed a bit. Uh, our current war is against new Cybertron, so shout out to those guys. Uh, beat base 1 and 2 in this war with this technique and I just want to make sure that people realise that this is not a case of oh I've waited for an easy war or I've waited for an easy base to pick I've not, I've been practicing this for a good few weeks now and it just so happens that I've decided to do a video today because it's worked well twice in a row and it's no detriment to these guys bases these bases are quite popular designs, quite good designs, they catch a lot of people out so, don't get me wrong, guys. These are not easy bases by any means. So, outpost bots are maybe slightly lower than the very top guys. That's where you can use a combiner. It improves the attack even more. But I wanted to prove that it can be done without a combiner just to show you guys how good and effective the attack is. So, it can be quite hard to defend against. Um, I've no doubt when HQ 16.5 comes out in about a month's time that that will change. It could change the meta a bit. And people will start thinking outside the box a bit with different attacks. So we'll see new attacks come in. But until then, this attack's really viable. Could be viable in 16.5. We don't know what's coming yet. We can only guess. So let's wait until that comes and see where it brings us. So before I delve into the attack, I want to give a big shout out to my fellow Cybertron Op guys. We've just been in a war against Scorched Earth. The top Decepticon Alliance in the game. And they are... Crazy good, crazy outposts, crazy top top guys, and we beat them. It's one. I think it's one of the first times we beat them. The crazy war went right to the end. It was really close, but we finally beat them. And a big shout out to the Scorched Earth guys for giving us that war and sort of like going all out with us, non-stop. It was brilliant. It was a really good war. A bit disappointed I couldn't quite do a war video. I will get into that why, but it was a really great war. Uh, to be a part of so into the attack so yeah you do need high level bots to complete this attack i'm not gonna lie to you but the good thing about that is is when i started off before i started doing youtube video i was looking at other people's videos and watching them and going right what bots are they using i'm gonna focus on them bots i've seen a lot of guys using star Sabre and i put all my effort into him and i'm reaping the benefits now because of what the mistakes of the other people have made and advice that people gave me and I'll say the same to you guys, if you haven't got these level bots yet, that's okay. But at least you know which bots to focus on next. You can look at all the top YouTubers and top guys and what bots they use and focus on them. So your leveling is a lot more focused. And keep that focus on them leveling bots. Focus on them war team bots, guys. Because one, it'd be good for leveling your other bots when you get to high level. And two, it get you better in wars, which means more spark, more rewards. Keep leveling those bots. So... There's actually two uh, replays that I've got. The second replay is actually broken. I'm a bit disappointed. But I'm going to show you anyway because 80% of it is correct. But I'm going to show it anyway. So. And I like this attack because there's no set plan as such. There is. There's a, a plan behind it. But it's not just guesswork. But it's sort of, you can change your attack in a split second. And I got this sort of idea of doing this from uh, a friend of mine, Sun Tzu, who's in PSYOPs, a great guy. And uh, shout out to you, mate. And he does this with no healers, which for me is not doable. I need a healer. But his bots are that crazy high that he doesn't use healers. So it's sort of based on the sort of attack he does in the case of that there's a lot of variable bots and more, all the bots have a part to play in the attack. But if you lose one bot, it doesn't matter. So... I've started with a mini cleanup crew of two tanks, Star Saber, Prowl, and First Aid. 
Now I have got Alpha, Alpha Trion on first aid, which helps a lot. I've also got my Cronus on UM, uh, Ultra Magnus, which helps a lot. And it's just a case of just getting through those defences and pathing the rest of the bot upwards. I do lose Optimus Prime there, but that's fine. I expect to maybe lose a tank. It's no problem. But as long as Star Saber survives, that is the main thing. Star Saber is still the key to this attack, as he is with most. It's, it's a bit like a Saber Swipe, but instead of a Saber Swipe and then walking, you walk through with Saber and then you just clean it up. It's as simple as that. So you can see there the bots are pounding away. I've dropped the cleanup crew later on. And then we're going to do a saber swipe up there. And we're going to do another saber swipe. Bring it back down again. And then we're going to rush in with gold fire. And then we're going to rush in with swoop. And that's the cleanup crew there. And then we're going to put Cheetor's ability down. And you can see there, there's pretty much nothing left. Now I have a stop a combiner at this point. I think combiner would pretty much wipe everything out there. And then time is the issue after that. You can see there, there's not much left. And even if I lose first aid at this point, it's no big deal because they've done the job. There's not many defences left. Sometimes I take prowling these attacks to take out key defences. Sometimes I'll take skyburst maybe, depending on how many uh, mortars are out. If the mortars are in the middle part that you're going to annihilate, then you don't need someone to take out the mortars. You don't need prowl. You don't need a one-shot. You're probably better with Skyburst just clearing up. But the good thing about this is, you can see there, uh, main clear-up crews that I had was Swoop, Goldfire, and Cheeto. That's my sort of bots of choice. But you can also use Sentius. You can also use Slash. You can, you, you, you can even use Sea Spray, depending on your attack. You could probably use Huffer, Hound, Rust Dust, Blaster, even Optus Primal with his shield. If your healer goes down, you've got a shield there. There's so many bots that you can use in this attack. It's just a case of getting that Star Saber leveled up. And I'm, I go on and on about it. I know I do. And I get, I get really killed in chat saying like, oh, it is, was it again? Banging on about his Star Saber. Because he really is that good guy. He's the key to pretty much everything in this game. Talk to any of the top games, any of the top guys in this game, and they all use Star Saber. Everyone. And it's, a, it's an amazing bot. So keep leveling that Star Saber. And in it, all the chats, people say to me, oh, who should I put this spark into? Star Saber. Who should I put this core on? Star Saber. Who should I level? Star Saber. Star Saber, Star Saber. I cannot stress that enough. Star Saber is an amazing bot that you need to have in this game at a high level. It's a brilliant, brilliant bot. So we're going to go into the second attack. Like I said, a bit disappointed in this attack. That the fact that it's, a, it's not showing exactly what happened. I beat this base. It's obvious by the war score. But, hey... It's one of those things, I understand it, but that's just the way it is. But hopefully you get a good idea from this. But if you try to attack out guys, right, and you try with different bots that I'd use, give me a holler online, Sunstreak of Water, post me the uh, replay and let me know, and I'll show it on my channel. Just show guys that, you know, you can use other bots in these attack. So, same as last time, sort of top prowl there. The only difference here is because there's three martyrs at the front, I've had to take out two martyrs. You know, the, your bots can probably take about three defences hitting them at a time. You know, there's a lot of walls to get through there. And uh, it's got a lot of damage, so I took two out there. It is restrictive on points, doesn't leave many points left. But I have got Alpha Trion on first aid. So, it's a playoff really, whether you want to take out just one martyr or not. I dropped the other two bots here just to help get through them walls. My plan was to drop them a bit later, but things are going a bit slow. So I thought I need to get through these walls and get through these defences, so I dropped a whole lot of bots. The martyrs are gone now, so they're going to take very little damage. You just need to make sure that your clean-up bots don't get a lot of damage. So at this point here, I wanted to sweep Sabre left, but it couldn't quite reach that missile launcher. So once Sweep started walking around, I thought, I'm going to send Sabre upwards rather than that way. And go the opposite way around. And like I said, it's just a matter of that guy. This attack can go wrong. But it's just a matter of just changing your attack and just switching it up. And you can see there, I've done damage to almost all the main defences. It's okay if Star Saber dies, that's no problem. Keeps my healer in. 
Now, first aid goes down there. In my replay, first aid didn't die. And I think that's the key to this replay, why it's different. He actually kept my bots alive. But then you've got Cheetor cleaning up there. I did lose Swoop originally uh, in the battle. I did. But then you send Goldfire up. He's got Vector on. So there he goes. Doing some damage. Then you've got Cheeto clearing up. And at the end of this attack, Cheeto was still alive. Octopus was still alive. Prowl was still alive. And you can see the sort of glitch here by Prowl walking. Look, he can't reach that from there. Because he was sat behind with first aid behind Optimus and Cheeto was still banging away. And I really think the, re the reason behind these faulty replays is Scourge. Because bots target him and kill him in the replays. Uh, in the actual battle, sorry. But in the replays, they don't. And so Scourge does more damage than what he's actually doing. I've said this to Space I've explained it to them. But it's just, like I said, the way it is, sadly. But you get an idea of the attack. And that's it guys, so if you've got any questions, then pop it in the chat. If you like my channel, then please subscribe, you get notifications of any future videos that I do. Uh, I've currently got 800 subs, so pushing to that 1000 mark, so a big thank you to everyone that subbed already. Um, and like I said, if you like the video, stick a like at it guys, so I know what videos you guys like, and what you want to hear more. And any comments I always apply back to, and just give me a holler. Alright, well thanks for watching guys, and peace out.